three in a row with different drivers, right? That would be that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Yeah, and and also you know also consider Adam LZ. You know he's he's doing a split season with Vaughn Gittin Jr. You know Vaughn driving four rounds of competition, Adam driving four rounds of competition, and that is the very vehicle. Truth be told, that took Vaughn to the win. They're sharing the car. They're literally skinning, taking the graphics off, putting on Adams or Vaughn's respectively for each round. So, well, and if you remember going back to Irwindale last year, I don't want to speak for Adam, but I, I do know that he had that breakout event last year, got a final four, and I know that that really re-inspired him to come back and to do what he's doing this year. I know it'd be a great thing for him to get on the podium here tonight. Adam LZ of the RTR Spec 5 FD, Joao Barion chasing him down. Here comes Adam LZ in that First outside zone, comes up a little bit short, looks like the Nitto tires grip up. Joao Perrion, he comes at an angle and strings out. He does take a beeline towards the side of Adam LZ, and now it seems that he has found that angle and that proximity past that inside clip into that final outside zone. Here goes Adam LZ filling it, Joao Perrion. That's a great approach. Yeah, really good approach on that last outside zone. Let's take a look at our eye in the sky here. The judges really do like to reward when you're coming from one zone to the next and you're transitioning that rate to angle and holding it consistently. Here you see Adam LZ pretty much in the deepest part of the zone at the beginning, but then starts to fall down towards the end. You see Joao keeping the pressure on, but he comes up a little bit shallow there on that last zone as Adam makes that really great transition. Going back to the beginning of the run, we see right there LZ flying through that section of the course, now moving back around. And you, it gives you an idea of just how close these drivers were for the duration of this run coming through the smoke line. And there's LZ locking it in, keeping those rears right in that outside zone. All right, Joao Barion, he's going to get the clean air and the Barbarius Monster Energy Corvette from Brazil. Adam LZ, originally from Connecticut. Said a little bit of Salais of Pete's, the pizza. Maybe that brought him a little bit of good luck. Oh, and Chris brought a bunch of them here for him to chomp on. So uh, let's see what we got here. Joao Barion initiating in that first outside zone. There's some sparks from Adam LZ. Seems like the RTR throwing some sparks. Fourth of July just around the corner, and Adam LZ looks like he massages it in. And good proximity deep in that second outside zone. Joao Barion, both of them pass that inside clip. Big flick from Joao Barion. Here comes Adam LZ, tucked in, buried, and bathing in smoke is Adam LZ. How he saw through that, man, he's got night vision, courtesy of Blake Olsen. That was insane. Well, you can see the fans certainly appreciating what's going on there on course from both of these drivers, pushing the limits and the pace of the vehicles. Here we go, Joao really gets a really fast start. Pulled out of the zone a little bit quick. Adam had to make that adjustment. He's on a little bit of a tighter line, but then he adjusts, gets back on the appropriate line, keeps the pressure on right on the back wheels as Joao hits that inside clip. Snappy transition, but enters it on a shallower line. And LZ angles up towards the end there for one little exclamation point towards the end. Those transitions trying to be matched. Trying to get in the pocket, take advantage of the door that's open. And you can see Joao super tight on that inside clip. Now LZ through the smoke line. And right here, there's just going to be an angling effect through the finish line. Good run by both drivers. Very exciting there as the smoke now lingering here in the night in New Jersey. Wow, yeah, look at that. So uh, yeah, the, the flags are still, so the smoke lingers here in the Crazy 8 Smoke Bowl of E-Town. The RTR Mustang. You know who's pumped right now? Von Gittin Jr. The Type S lights are on. The RTR ready to rock. What do you guys think? Did LZ get the win? Is LZ moving on? What do you guys think? Is Joao Perrion from Brazil gonna get the win? What does the internet think here, Ryan? Taking a look. Yeah, and again, Adam LZ has a wild fan base. Some people are saying bye, Adam. Some people are saying hi, Adam. All right, so let's take a look at the BC Racing Go For Gold side by side. Shout out Cody Slack, taking a look. Go For Gold, BC Racing, the official suspension of Formula Drift.
can see Adam LZ on the left leading. Pretty decent by both the drivers in the chase position. Past the inside clip. That final outside zone. Good flick by Joao. Man. Yeah, Joao on that chase. So uh, quickly, you know. Oh, look at this. He's ready for uh, he's ready for the final four. Matt Field getting in the zone. So again, Adam LZ, one of the most popular drivers in Formula Drift. It's quickly saying 76. You wonder if it's just obviously the popularity. You know, he's, he's got a lot of followers. He makes a lot of YouTube content. And there it is. Adam LZ gets the win. He's going to the final four. But next stop is his very own RTR teammate, three-time champ, James the Machine Dean. So the fans said 76%. And uh, they were correct. It was unanimous. The final four is set. The Type S, the official lighting of Formula Drift. Simon Olsen from Norway, Matt Field from America, James Dean from Ireland, and Adam LZ from the United States of America. All right, the final four.